guys are ridiculous. These guys are ridiculous. Now, how about them damn Celtics? All-Star game is coming up. Mm. We want to go over our All-Star predictions. Um, More so wanna... Jack, because everybody knows once we start <laughs> talking about not Celtics, I really shine. I haven't been watching uh, as much basketball outside of the Celtics as I might have liked this year, but I still keep up. And I, I like predicting stuff. I'm a big predicting fan. But so do you want to start in the East or the West? Uh, let's let's do the West. Okay. Because this actually let's do the East. Let's do the East because the West is probably going to be more fun. Okay. Start in the East. You want to just do starters first? Or you want to do, we'll do yeah. starting guards first. Who are your starting guards? Sam? So I have Donovan Mitchell and Jalen. I think Donovan's yep. a no brainer. He's been oh, yeah. the best Absolutely. guard in the East. 100%. He has been a game changer for the Cavs. Amazing trade. And of course, he had 71 points the other day, which was absolutely. I went on some rant at the start of the season about how he's not even that much better than Colin Sexton. Egg on oh, my yeah. face. Horrible. Terrible take. Own up to it. That was I awful. I remember that one. <laughs> that was a terrible take. Great. I will say, though, great trade for both sides. Jazz got a very good package out of that yep. trade. Too, Jazz, so. fine. <laughs> if you're going to trade a star, get that in return. Uh, yeah, Donovan Mitchell, Jalen Brown, I agree. Forwards. Who are your three forward starters in the East? I have Tatum, Giannis, and mm-hmm. KD. Yep. I agree there. It, it's very, very tough to leave out Embiid, especially because he's playing more games now. But like so one of those four is not going to be able to start. Embiid's team is the worst. That's before. when you that, open that, the standings tab. That's, <clears throat> yep. Uh, that is the logic I rolled with. And hey, I think Giannis will always start no matter what because his name is that big now. But yes. if the Bucks, if the Bucks slide enough, and Embiid has a better record by the, the the All-Star game, that's all it'll take, in my opinion. So keep that in mind. Oof. I don't know. No, I, Very there's close. no – Giannis is a lock to start, and when we get to it, LeBron is, which is why he's there because okay. he will never not. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, I understand what you're saying. Uh, I agree. All right. Uh, how do you want to do the bench? Do you want to just say the entire bench? Do you want to do our first two guards two first? Two guards. that? forwards than the reserves okay so your top two guards off the bench are... okay so in the east i had uh Kyrie because since he's come back brooklyn has been unreal i'm surprised i thought well. you'd leave him out <laughs> well you, you have to be a good unbiased journalist he's and then um i also have tyrese halliburton okay as, as the mainstay guard i've said i think he might be the best in the league the vote mm-hmm. won't allow for that in the east plus donna mitchell's it, it's not point guard it's guard so yep. donovan's been better his team's been better but what tyrese halliburton has been able to get out of his teammates in indiana and help them Phenomenal. become is nothing that anyone could have predicted before the season really i know i thought the pistons would be the team that did this and it's the pacers so good for halliburton he's averaging double digit playoff, assists. Push. no they are they are not in the plan right now they are oh barely. yes they are they are like by like I think they're tied, but yes, it's very close. Uh, <laughs> they're making a push to the six seed, one hundred percent. I have Kyrie as well, but I I have Drew Holiday as my main mm. state guard <laughs> instead of Tyrese. Um, uh, uh, we'll spoil it here. Do you have two guards for your two reserve spots? Uh, or do you have I have a guard and a forward. I you don't. don't. I do not. Interesting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Um. Okay. Who are your three forwards? Then I had Kyrie and Drew Holiday as my main state guards. Who are okay. your three forwards? So I have Embiid because he did not make the starters. <laughs> yep. And he is definitely an all-star. Absolutely. I have Julius Randle because you kind of have yep. to. Yeah. <laughs> I was not happy when I was looking at my options. Sam was very upset. when he Now, had if the standings him. were different, I would not. <laughs> I'm aware. But unfortunately, the standings tell me I have to, so I did. Uh-huh. And then your third forward? My third is Jimmy Butler. I have the same. I have yeah. Embiid, Butler, Julius Randle as my three forwards. Uh <clears throat> I think it's pretty clear cut. We can go over some uh, potential alternates in a second after we do the reserves, but uh, I agree. Who who are your two reserves? Your two anything? So I've got James Harden. He's got twenty two yep. and eleven on the season. Phillies towards the top half of the East. They're, they're climbing. They're, they're, they're getting climbing. there. And Harden's missed time. And when he's been playing, they've been playing a lot better. Um, that kind of production is impressive. He's done a good job at being yeah. the point guard on that team. And last, I have Bam. Bam's putting up pretty much a double double, twenty two and ten about. Uh, Yeah, that's pretty impressive. The only problem is Miami's tenth, not not very good. Yes, not very good right now. Not not as good as they should be. They're sitting in eighth, but they're not far away from tenth. That's where it gets tough. But like I don't know, like 
you don't have to put another front court guy in at this part of the All Star selection, but mm-hmm. I don't know. I still feel like he deserves it. He's putting up good numbers. Yeah. Bam has been someone that's always solid. I don't know. It it feels hypocritical for me, but I don't have any. There's nobody that sticks out that I'm like, wow, that guy really deserves it. Sure. I see what you're saying. I have uh, Halliburton and Harden as my last two. Yes. The only difference in our in our All Star ball- uh, voting Holiday ballots. over Bam. <clears throat> Holiday versus Bam. Yeah, I had Holiday because I think top team and one of the top teams in the East. He's been playing great even when Giannis is out. I wanted to give him the nod. Uh, and and the typically I am that, hurt. but I did not. Uh, I will say, potential guys that are borderline. Jalen Brunson, I think, deserves some, excuse me, potential All-Star love. Kristaps Porzingis has been having a great season. I have Bam on my potential list. Uh, Siakam's been having a phenomenal season. DeMar DeRozan, Paolo Bancaro, Brooke Lopez deserve some love on the Bucks. Which Trae we both Young, kind of then, nodded at before. Yep, we did before we started. And then I have Marcus Smart with a little frowny face because – he just doesn't. It's have not a fair. <laughs> he just he does not have a chance. There's too much. Like for example, let's say uh, I don't know. Let's say Harden got hurt again. Uh, Jalen Brunson would be ahead of him. There's a bunch of dudes uh, just sitting there. Trey Young. Yep. Trey Young would be ahead of him. Chris Dops, even since it would be a reserve spot, would be ahead of him. Bam would be ahead of him. Siakam. Dur- like mm-hmm. there's just a very very slim chance he gets it. But well, this same... is what I was saying. All these guys, they get to come to the East, and Celtics get the shaft. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very tough. Same ballot, except uh, you have Bam, I have Holiday. Everything else is the same. Sam knows uh, what he's talking about a little bit. How about that? <laughs> there we go. All right. This is where things get interesting. Yeah. Our Western Conference. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am very excited for this. All right. Starting two guards in the West, Sam. Hit me. I have. I've got Luca and Ja. Yep. I agree. Both I've, counts. I've got that because. Luca's been unreal, ridiculous. Yeah, but Ja, Memphis is first right now. I think. Yeah, first yep. or second, it doesn't They're matter. Up there they are number one, number one in the West right now. They're one of the best teams, and he has been great. That's basically it, right? Like that's got to be the argument for Ja. Um, Basketball his teams playing great. Not yep. a lot to complain about. Not a lot of wiggle room there, in my opinion. I'm a big wins guy. It's very difficult for me to put anything otherwise some people are going to say curry some people are going to say sga jaws curry was a tough one in the first glance i thought curry but then i really thought i was like well jaws winning really winning cures all all right interest more interesting is the front court sam we both agreed Doncic and john morant luca yeah uh, front court who's your three now it's lebron's there and here's why because he had all the fan votes and he's going to be the starter i will also say though he doesn't actually have as much competition as you might think in my opinion at the front court spot in the west that's true hey, who's gonna start over him? come on the so, problem yeah. is is the lakers are bad <laughs> yep so i don't really think you should be starting if your team's bad but one there's not a lot of competition like we kind of touched yep. upon and two there's no way he wouldn't start like even Fan kobe voting. at the back end of his career when the lakers were bad and he wasn't really good yep. he started like just it's how this stuff works it's the way it it's is lame Maybe you don't think it's lame. Maybe you like it, but me, I think it's lame. It's like, ah, sure. He's not a force. Like now, in this case, not a lot of guys that deserve it, but <laughs> yeah, in other situations, there might be. Uh, next is yeah. Jokic, obvious yep. MVP Obviously. candidate. People talk about him all the time. Amazing. And I have to double check to see my. Oh, and I had Zion as my last person. Okay. Now we discussed the injury and. He's going to be reevaluated in three weeks from like two days ago, I think you said. So, yes, Pelicans are second or third in the West as somewhat of a surprise. He's been a driving force behind that. He's been great. Very good. There is no reason he shouldn't get this honor. The team's successful. He's successful. And he beat being fat. I mean, that's that's pretty (laughs) tough. So good on him. He gets the nod. As much as I love to hate on him in the past he's playing well the team's playing well uh nothing more you can ask for yeah i don't have zion on my ballot not because i don't think he deserves it if injuries were not a thing my starting front court would be Jokic, anthony davis zion <clears throat> but i don't know if he's gonna have enough games so i left him off with a little asterisks uh, and the asterisks i can never pronounce that word being that if he does asterisk. play enough oh jesus yeah see yeah exactly you're Ast- gonna mock me <laughs> asterisk that's what yeah. it is Asterisk. Sam trying to mock me. He makes a fool of himself. Uh, <laughs> if so Zion I plays enough, all the time. 
yeah, if Zion plays enough games, he'll be a starter. But <clears throat> since he hasn't yet, I have Jokic, LeBron, and I have DeMontis Sabonis uh, mm. in my starting in the West. Sabonis putting together a great season. The Kings are good, light the beam, uh, averaging. <clears throat> what's he averaging? <clears throat> Excuse me, let me double check. A here. lot. <clears throat> yep, Sabonis averaging like twenty-two and eleven. <clears throat> no, I don't I think so. N- not even. <clears throat> Uh, 18.7 points, 12.4 rebounds, 6.7 assists, <clears throat> all around game, playing very well for the Kings. And for the first time when it feels like forever, the Kings are a playoff team. Good Five seed right now forever. in the West. It's yeah. Literally no active players <laughs> played them in the playoff series. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, there you go, Kings. Uh, Sabonis, I think, will be a starter if Zion is injured. So put it that way. All right. Uh, top two guards off the bench. Okay. Curry was one. The numbers are there for him. Yep. And I have Damian Lillard as the other one. Okay. The team team success for both of them isn't really there, but the numbers are. Yeah. And they're both established enough to where they're not going to get left off. I don't think. I just don't see sure. that happening. Um, I guess this isn't really my picks. It's just my predictions. But yeah, I, I kind of agree with it. Like Curry especially is putting up big numbers. And that Warriors team is still good. They're just not winning. Like they, it, you're they're just waiting for them to yeah. turn it around. Yeah. Like there's going to be something that flips the switch. They're not the Lakers. It's different. They're five and one in their last six games. They had a five game winning streak though. They'll, they'll figure yeah. it out. Uh, I had Curry and then I have uh Shea Gilders Alexander as my first yeah. two off the bench. <clears throat> Shea's not on a winning team, but like, I mean, the numbers are crazy. <laughs> he's been ridiculous. He deserves to be an all-star. Uh, and, and also like you said, better than you would think it would have been. Yes. And like you said, like Curry doesn't have the best record. LeBron doesn't have the best record. Dame doesn't have the best record. They're going to get off, the, get in off name power. Shea is putting up numbers to the point where he should get it, get in off name and number power. Cause he's playing that well. So <clears throat> I'll give him the nod there. All right. This is where things get tricky. Yeah. Uh, well, actually first, let me ask you who are your, are both of your reserves guards are both of your two reserves in the West yes. guards. <clears throat> okay. Lay them on me. We'll start there. Cause I don't think that's going to be as interesting. Okay. So I did Shea who we yep. just talked about. And uh, I guess, is it Booker? Yeah, it's Booker. <laughs> yeah, I, I think <clears throat> I think the guards in the West are pretty obvious. Uh, Shea, Booker, Curry, Lillard, Luka, Ja. Like, you can argue De'Aaron Fox because the Kings have been good. You can argue Anthony Edwards, I guess. You can argue Desmond Bain, maybe. It was between if... <clears throat> uh, SGA and Edwards for me. Yeah, and uh, if Desmond Bain had played enough games, I think he should absolutely be an all-star, but he got hurt. And if he plays enough games by the time he gets back, maybe he gets an overload or Booker, but I just don't see it happening because of name power. But anyways, three forwards off the bench. Uh, hit me. Hit me with it. So I have Paul George, who I'm never like floored by, yep. but his numbers are good. The Clippers are decent, and they're supposed to be good. Uh, Kawhi hasn't played enough time or ga- games time. He hasn't played enough games. Same thing. To qualify. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we went off 25 games plus, by the way, yes. I think was our, our marker for now. Sabonis is there for me. He started for <laughs> yep. you. That Kings team is finally making some kind of noise. Good for them. Mm-hmm. And last I have Laurie Markin and that jazz team is yeah. a lot better than it was supposed to be. And he's been the force behind that. Mm-hmm. So is Mike Conley, by the way, because when he went out, they went into a tailspin. He's been good, man. But. Marketing's been crazy tonight. He was going crazy. People were forty nine or fifty. Had forty nine. Yep. Uh, so from the sound of it, it sounds like you agree, Jack. <laughs> yes, I had Laurie Marketing off my bench. Uh, Paul George, and then I had Brandon Ingram as well. Ingram. Um, okay. LeBron not only... on the team. <clears throat> no, I LeBron starting. Uh, Zion. You... I had Zion out because of injury. Oh, so you had LeBron thing. Davis and then Jokic. No. LeBron Sabonis Jokic in okay. my starting three. <clears throat> I have asterisks, sorry, next to uh, Anthony Davis and Zion. If they play enough games, I think they will be in. Uh, I think the Pelicans need an all star, obviously. So if Zion is hurt, I think BI gets in. That's my rationale. <clears throat> and then I have if Davis is healthy, I don't think Mar- Markinen will make it. I think uh, Davis will get in over Markinen. Um, but I don't think Davis will play enough games, so I'm going to have Markin and, uh, and then I'll have Zion or Ingram. And hell, if you want to make the argument that they both deserve it over Markin, I wouldn't complain either. Um, but those are my all stars, and I, I think it's going to be tough. Other guys, <clears throat> excuse me, I have listed Jeremy Grant, I think has put together a solid season for Portland. Not good yeah, enough. Yeah, he was a but, sneaky um, one, huh? <laughs> he was up at the points. top of the recommended ones on the NBA mm-hmm. site. Well, they went by points, and he's up there. Yeah, they went <laughs> so by that points. Those rats, loser, uh, <laughs> loser, like 
way yeah, to go yeah, behind yeah. that organization. Kelvin Johnson there. also up there too. Uh, Aaron Gordon, another one I think deserves some credit on the Nuggets. They're very good. He's played well. Um, I don't know. I think he deserves some love. He, he's like the second best player on that Nuggets team, sneakily. Uh, everyone assumes it's been Jamal Murray or Michael Porter Jr. Aaron Gordon has been phenomenal. So give him some lo- uh, love. Excuse me. De'Aaron Fox, Anthony Edwards, Desmond Bain. I wrote Jeremy Grant twice by accident. <clears throat> there was another guy I'm thinking of. Uh, I feel like the Grizzlies should have an, uh, even outside of Desmond Bain, for some reason, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like they should have multiple all-stars. Christian Wood, maybe, for the uh, the Mavericks, but meh, I don't know about that. Um, but yeah, uh, that's that's what I'm rolling with. <clears throat> that's what I've got. I think it's, uh, I don't know, I, I, I think it's solid. I think it'll be very interesting to see how things play out with injuries and stuff, but uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I can't there wait to go. not care. <laughs> <laughs> like I can't wait to not watch the all-star game because I usually don't. It, I will I will say this when once now they've put that like target score in, it's been way better. Yeah, much more, more entertaining. interesting. <clears throat> much more interesting. I will say uh never mind. I was gonna I, I was looking at Steven Adams to see if he deserved any love because he's been good, but uh no points no, no. out there. <laughs> Eight points, eleven rebounds, two assists, uh <clears throat> and one point two blocks. It's just not there. But Last he's in front good. court mm-hmm. juggernauts. Yeah, Jaron Jackson maybe, but he hasn't played enough games. I don't know. We'll see. Jaron Jackson and Desmond Bain will both make all-star teams down the line, I think. But not this year. Not with the stars. Anyways. Tackle. Come on. Tackle. 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 Tackle's having some fun here.